In this video, we're going to understand what is meant by encryption and be able to define it. We're then going to look at the Caesar cipher as a particular example of encrypting plain text messages and explain why it's really easy to crack. Well, first of all, what exactly is encryption? It is simply the process of encoding a message so it can be read only by the sender and the intended recipient. It is quite common in today's day and age that vast amount of private and personal electronic details and data are sent over the internet. It's quite common that we want this information to be kept private. At a very simple level, the sender of information would apply some kind of encryption to a plain text message. This message can then be released over some communication medium like a local network or the internet. Anyone who intercepts this message in transit will just read it as garbage. At the other end, the recipient receives the encrypted message and requires some form of decryption key in order to translate the message back into the original format. We're going to look now at two particular ciphers at two ends of the spectrum. In this video, we're going to take a look at the Caesar cipher and in the next one, the Vernum cipher. They exist at opposite ends of the encryption spectrum. So the Caesar cipher is an incredibly simplistic cipher. All it does is it takes a letter and then applies a key. So the encryption key here is five and it shifts the alphabet by five places to the right. So this message, hello world, would end up being encrypted like this. Now obviously this is an incredibly easy cipher to crack. I mean even with a brute force attack there's only 25 possible differences that this G can translate into. Although we have 26 letters in the alphabet, a shift key of zero would mean that G was matching up with G and there'd be no encryption of the message at all. If this was a large block of text, which had been encrypted using the Caesar cipher, it would be very easy to perform a frequency analysis on the letters. Whichever letter appeared the most is most likely to be E, as this is the most common letter used in the English language. So this is an incredibly simple cipher to crack. In the next video, we're going to look at the Vernum cipher, which is at the other end of the spectrum.